And since launch. And I am on this planet trying to repair this tool. Uh, distress beacon. Um, it is a disastrous planet that is slowly eating away my shield. Which everywhere does pretty much, but... I'm just collecting some materials that I need. I need some oxygen. And I need sodium. Actually, I need sodium nitrate, but I need sodium to create the sodium nitrate to refine it. And that's pretty much what I'm doing. Did I just pass it? No, maybe not. Alright, it's further than I wanted to go. What is that? An artifact? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Might as well get the artifact. Oh, hazardous flora. Okay, a couple sodiums here. I also pre-ordered the game, but... And I redeemed the content. But, I don't have the tool. In fact, just to prove it. Let's redeem bonus content. Redeem tool. Got the units. Redeemed exosuit. But I have changed my appearance. I see no exosuit, no Xbox looking thing. And as far as multi-tool, Still learning the controls here. Um, I bought this one recently, so it's an upgrade. But I, the one I switched from was not the whatever multi tool is called. Um, it's not it. So not sure what happened there. I did not deny it when I accepted it. Um, so yeah, kind of disappointed. But, what can you do? Okay, here's a... Advanced mining laser needed. Figures. Now, where's that relic that I saw? Metal fingers. Okay, I think... Oh, metal fingers has uranium. Which is... Something I do want. Because uranium is good for, um, I believe it's your pulse thrusters. Let's see, what is this one? I'm 20 words. Okay, thanks. How far am I away from the fingers? Alright, not, not bad. Let's go get some fingers. I can recharge my shield real quick if I need to. I'll use an ion battery because I've had those in my inventory forever and haven't used them. I've been using pure sodium until I realized that the sodium nitrate no, I mean, obviously is a higher efficiency. So I don't know if it takes less sodium. Or if it's just more sodium compact into more... It's so... It's more... It's the same amount of sodium just compact to where it seems like it's taking less, but it's really taking the same amount of sodium. You're just using a compact version instead. I don't know, but... It seems like it's more efficient. Um, yeah, one battery full recharge, okay. Let's get some of that uranium. Is it giving it to me? Was I not doing the right thing? Oh, it's gold. Am I not getting anything? Do I have to mine the whole thing first? See, last time I got the fingers, it was uranium. And I suspect, looks like there's also a bug with this, uh, tool, because if you notice the bar filling up, if I let go it starts going down, but I don't have to let it go all the way down. 
all I gotta do is just let go for a second until it stops and then press it again. So it's basically an unlimited tool. I, I don't think it's supposed to work like that, otherwise it defeats the whole purpose of the bar going down. It might as well just reset to zero. It works just like if I were to let go at any range. Same thing. So, yeah, I believe they've got a bug there. Um, but whatever. I've joined a couple multiplayer games, and... Yeah, see? There's uranium. So, alright, got that. Oh, I gotta refill my... Luckily, I have some condensed carbon. That's why I was getting more carbons, because I'm gonna make some condensed carbon before I refill the tool again. See, 28%, whereas if I used normal carbon, it would have added like... 80 of it would have added like 3%. So, it definitely seems more efficient. Um, I should continue collecting carbon on the way, just because I got to power... I've got to power the refinery with carbon. Um, just make sure I scan everything there. I joined some multiplayer and the first two guys kicked me out. Don't know why. Um, the last one I tried, I was able to stay in long enough to travel to the guy's base and checked it out, waved to him, did some emotes, he waved back, thumbs up. Um, and I was gonna play with him and help him out, and then he was standing still for a bit, and then boom, got kicked. So, he was standing still to find out how to kick me out, and he kicked me out. I don't know why. But it seems like nobody really likes when you're in their game, which I don't, I don't know what the downside is to somebody being in game. Oh, here's full health. Um... Health at maximum. Health is not at maximum. So I don't know what I'm not understanding there, but that white bar on the left with the heart and the squiggly line through it, like a heartbeat thing, that looks like it is um, your health. And that does not, that I can tell you right now, that's not full. So I don't know what's up with that. Oh, inventory's full of me. Yeah, I gotta transfer stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna drop this junk metal. But, um... Uh, I've never had anybody join my... I just wanna just get carbon that's on the path on the way just to be more efficient and... Because it's going to take carbon to power, and I need to... Oh, that's actual pure condensed carbon, which is nice. Oh. Duh. Um, but yeah, I've never had anybody join my game, so I don't really know if there's a downside. But... It didn't... S I guess I was able to use his refinery... And I don't know if I was able to see his items. He didn't have anything in there. I was just playing. He used his scanner. And I walked inside his base. So I don't know if he can lock people out. I don't know if having some money in your game means that you can steal their stuff. Which is not something that I want to do because I want to be a friendly player. Um. If you're doing dick stuff in a game, you definitely have a dick core, which to me is bad parenting. <laughs> uh, yeah, you were raised bad, but if you're respecting people in a game, and that's your true core, because in games you're hidden behind, you know, nobody knows who you are, so that's why people on the internet lash out and are so cruel and mean, is because nothing can come back to them but if a person online has that same respect as he does in person it 
most of the time shows that their core is um, not rotten. So they were probably raised better than most and sure it's possible that they didn't even have parents at all and they just raised themselves and learned how to be good on their own which is definitely there's a possibility for everything and every possibility has happened so yeah I'm sure it's happened but yeah usually rotten core people are not good people and they will not treat you as good people oh I've got an incoming fleet frequency that's kind of cool I like how it's got the uh I mean, it looks like it's a hologram there. It might just be something that's placed on the screen. But, man, every time I send these guys out, they get damaged. And I call them back. For the damage risk category. I mean, so I call them back because I don't want catastrophic failure. But I've only had one successful mission. And this is the fourth one total I've done. The first one was successful. The last three, including this one, have failed. I, I, I wouldn't say total fail. A couple of them completed like one stage. And this one seems like it lasted longer. But one of them, right when I sent it out there, two damage to go. Some explosion in the refineries, I think it said. But, so yeah, I had to bring that back. So, yeah, not having good luck. Uh, not having good luck sending those missions out. The only thing I don't like about this refinery is if I create condensed carbon, and then I use that condensed carbon to fuel it, it turns it into regular carbon. And I don't like that because I sat here making condensed carbon, fueling it by condensed carbon, before I realized that's what was going on, and I basically just ended up where I started with carbon. Um, so, I wish if I put condensed carbon in there, it stayed as condensed carbon. But, oh well. So let's see, what did I need for this? Oh, I forgot to look to see what I needed, but yep, got that repair, 32 nanot close. Okay. Is there anything else here that I am missing? No. I don't see anything on the ground to loot. Excuse me. I didn't bring my scanner. My long range scanner. Oh, I did want to. Yeah, I'm so full. I've got freaking no inventory. And I'm wondering if I should buy another ship because I see new ships in the ports and I notice I can talk to the person. And, uh. One of the. Uh, choices you have is to offer to buy the ship and some of the ships kind of look cool um, and you can buy them the only thing is uh, I've got missile launchers and the ships I've looked at so far haven't had missile launchers and I don't know if I think what did I sell um Oh, when I when I upgraded from my green starting multi-tool to this one that I have now, the B, Class B, I lost one of the tech pieces that I, in, I had installed. Um, so, obviously, tech pieces don't transfer over. And I did see a thing where you could, um, you could, um, I guess, convert your components to... Um, to um, raw materials. Uh, I I didn't do it because I wasn't wanting to test it out yet. But 
Yeah, so I don't know if I have to break down my missile launcher, and if I do break it down, can I get it back? Also, something stupid I did was, see this here? It's a tech upgrade for the ship, and I put it in the standard inventory instead of in a technology slot. And so I'm pissed because it's taken up... Oh, I need microprocessors and a tech, not tech module. Anyways, I'm pissed because it's taken up a cargo slot. When I could be using that for precious cargo. But yeah, I need a signal booster so I can check and see if there's anything good on this planet worth checking out. So can't build that yet. Build economy scanner. It asked me to build carbon nanotubes. Why? Is that to create a microprocessor? No, I can't create microprocessors. I don't know why it's telling me to create nanotubes. Yeah, craft carbon nanotubes. Well, maybe it's only asking for one, so maybe I'll do it and see what happens. Um, I need carbon. I don't know how to get it out except doing it in this way where you try to pick it up and then it full. Okay, and I made a bunch of metal plates and I didn't mean to do that. Ugh, oh, inventory. There was an exosuit upgrade I saw where you could add storage space, like cargo for 50,000 units. I didn't do it, I expanded my my main area here, but I'm wondering, what does this do? Okay, exosuit high capacity inventory, so that, that answers more of the question. I would imagine high capacity means you can hold much more. Let me transfer these. Yeah, I have no space. Oh, I could have transferred that to the freighter. I think I have four of those. I have four of these total, and I just need one more microprocessor. I don't know how I can transfer it to my freighter, since it's astronomical units away. But it's letting me. been selling a lot of stuff that I don't know if I should sell. Like, that's worth 25,000 units. I haven't seen a use for them. Oh, it's crafted from pure ferrite and uranium. I don't know how to combine items either. But I haven't seen a use for it, so... I've just been selling. Because I don't have room to hoard. Transfer that to the starship. Oh, oh, get inside, get inside. I don't know where I got this jelly from. I don't need any. Oh, and I meant to create some more of these warp cells also, which... Build that, because I wanted to build that and get that done. Uh, and see what happened. But yeah, I need more ferrite dust. Oh, darn it. I converted that into pure ferrite when I should have left it as is. Yeah, put that on the base, on the freighter. Put that on the freighter. Put phosphorus on the freighter. I'm saving phosphorus because it was used for something. I got extra uranium. I wonder if I should put the pure ferrite on the freighter. Mm. Oh, dehydrogen was another thing I was trying to get to create more 
lift off fuel. Tons of projectile ammo. Okay. So let's see if there's dehydrium, hydrogen, dihydrium. What is wrong with me? Oh my god. Dihydrogen. And let's just get some more ferrite dust. There's a stuff right now. I don't know why. Sodium. Carbon. Yep. There's the hydrogen. Is this ferrite? Nope. This is a random rock. I'm gonna have to fill up the beam here. Got that condensed. Should be full charge, baby. So yeah, I was just kind of bored today, not working, and um, I thought I would do video because I want to be YouTube famous. Who doesn't? But I probably won't even get a single view. Most views I've gotten are on like Megadev video from like 2010 and a Harlem Shake video that just went around work which was funny, it was a good time but yeah, anyways, it's fun and it'll be neat to kinda look back on it better be recording my voice I wonder if I should get on Mixer and check it's like a paradox watching yourself play yourself um, but yeah what did I want to do here oh yeah the dihydrogen I wanted to make oh so that's what I can use the metal plates for okay cool and how much hydrogen excuse me 25 so I can make two of them and I have eight left over after that so then I would need uh, 12, 17 more. Alright. Um, I'm sure I did the math wrong. No, I, uh, 22 more. I think. Okay, we need ferrite dust. Sentinels. Those guys shoot you, or they used, they w they've always shot at me when I mine stuff. I don't know why. I don't know what their purpose is. Yeah, see, they're scanning me, and I'm mining, and now they're gonna shoot at me. So usually you have to get away by running, which they know where you go pretty good. They search for you, obviously. And I think if I were to m mine over here, they're going to come get me. Yeah, he's coming right over here. Duh. Yeah, he's chasing me. Alright, well then we'll get in the ship and let him... Where's my ship? Let him do his BS. Well, I guess I could shoot him, because this is the first time I've had... ...a bolt caster gun. Wow, 360 damage. 
I wonder why I... it must be criticals. coming up there. Oh no. Okay. Well, it was pretty easy to kill him, so let's, let's take him out. Maybe I'll get something good. Yeah, I didn't realize there was a reload button either when I first got stuff back. Oh no! I guess the roll there could suck. Looks like the, the bumps in the ground stopped it though, that was pretty cool. Okay, so the blinking red dots are my... Sentinel level, kind of like police stars in GTA. in the ship and let my shield charge. Let's go ahead and create... I wonder if I can create an item when the plates are in one area. Yeah, it looks like I can. Great frigate fuel, frigate dehydrogen, and tritium. Okay, I'm gonna need some of that soon. Life support gel, temporary boost to life systems, long-term impact. So a temp boost, I don't really need a temp boost at all because I never really lose too much life support. But launch fuel, I do want to create and get rid of the metal plates because the metal plates are taken up. Really? The metal plates are taking up precious space. I guess I, I forgot to get the last amount I needed. Why can't I transfer that? I don't know why I couldn't transfer that. They're, it's a stack. Okay, but let's get the... Uh, I still want to get the dehydrogen. Oh, and the, the ferrite dust. I needed to do something with the dust. Create four of those. Yeah, that's it. Uh, how much more do I need then? Okay, oxygen and ferrite dust. And then I could create the warp cells. Okay. Combine those. Can't send that to the ship. Wait, why can't I? Yeah, they're not special. So, let's try that again. Wait, I just wanted to see what that... Portable life support power. Okay. I think I was reading the wrong thing before. <coughs> Alright, so transfer that, and I can, tr I can transfer one more item. Let's just... Let's put the Pugnium in there. Okay, there's a ton of space, so it looks like I can... Store some more stuff there. Yeah, okay. I don't need the Uranium on me. I 
everything else is possible that I might use. Oh, let's put the phosphorus on the freighter. I guess let's... Okay, full. Okay, let's go get oxygen. Wait, what did I need? I need oxygen. I know I need some ferrite dust. And yeah, some more ferret dust. And then, what was the other thing I needed? I might as well make this, because I want to get rid of that dehydrogen jelly. Okay. I believe I already have those items. Oxygen filter. So both of these are significant upgrades. Solar panel power. I don't know what that does for my solar panel. But what was one of the technologies? So life support tanks 10%. Hazard protection system. Okay, so these are my shields. A sodium diode. I think I've had I had one of those. Oh, and one antimatter. Those are easy to make though. Oh, I think I had a sodium diode and I sold it. But one's a class C and the shield lattice is a class B. So I'm thinking I'll get the shield lattice and replace. 14 100% tanks and 14% sprint distance is kind of nice. These two are both B class. I don't know what solar panel power does for me though. One of them is 4% more than the other. Oh, I could dismantle one of them for a tech module, which is what I need to, and one more microprocessor. I need, uh, I need the tech module and the microprocessor to create the scanner that I want to install on the ship, the scanner module, the economy scanner. So that's just an option. I don't know how much it costs, so neglect the trade. So we'll go to a trade ship next and see. Oh my God! Why are the Sentinels harassing me? I still got two. Two dots. Oh, he's stuck on my ship. How funny. He needs to go. He needs to leave me alone. And go. That is definitely bugged. Did he just come back to life? Damaging my ship. Okay, so reinforcements. That's bad. I know they're about to come down on me, so let's. Oh, darn it. Whoa. Let's get out of here. Get the objective. I wonder what happens at five stars. I'm, I'm guessing now that a starship will come after me. Let's get out of there. Now, did I complete the objective? That was it. Travel to the stranger's coordinates.
I'm pretty sure I finished there. I have to let them finish searching. The only thing I'm unsure of is how much does a starship launch fuel give? Does it give, does it fill your entire bar from zero? I guess, uh, I'll let it run out and find out. That's what I didn't do. I didn't talk to the signal beacon. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't finish repairing it. Okay, so let's repair that. And yep, unknown signal, no signs of life. Let's extract the records. Artemis. They were definitely long gone. Upgrade for mining beam. Oh. I'll take it, how nice. Replace the standard mining view optics with high grade living glass. What is living glass? Allowing the beam to be effective against large and or rare resource deposits. Lin adapts automatically to minute fluctuations in the beam waveform, minimizing scatter and increasing device mining potential. I like the sound of that. Hermetic seal. Now I have a use for that. Two tech modules. Okay, well. I hope they aren't expensive. Okay, cool. I did want to... I need more oxygen. Can't tell if I need... If I have enough ferrite dust. But I do... I do for the hermetic seal or whatever. Let's wait on that because it's going to take up a slot. Let me just get the... Oops. Ferrite. Wait, what was that? Search base computer archives? Okay. I think they're talking about my base. Still not enough yet, okay. Transfer that to the freighter. Identified mineral. Does that mean I have not scanned it? Scanned it? There's one. Check it out. Oh, I guess I have not scanned it. I mean, they're all just the same rocks, just with different names. So I don't know what's up there. Very tech. I haven't gone after those much, I don't know if I should. Oh, I need oxygen, duh. What am I doing? Oh. There's some oxygen up there on that little overhang. And there's a cave. I don't know if there's ever anything good in caves. Ooh. I'm an idiot. Let me get that. I'm gonna get that. And let's create that. So we can get rid of the last antimatter spot for a warp cell. 
you take up one less slot. And let's see, is there... Should I check out that solar vine? I don't know what that does. Hmm. There's a cargo drop just a short distance from me. Maybe we'll just take a quick peek. I'm kind of waiting before I fill my life support. I'm kind of waiting for it to go down a little further. Maybe I should save those full... I don't know where I get those atlas passes from, but... Maybe I should save my life support things and the uh, hazmat battery for times when I am about to die in a critical moment. And then I should use all these other materials. No, you know what? I should probably create life support gel and oxygen capsule. Oh no. I just fell in a hole. Yeah, I should try to make these, um... Oh, did I accidentally use one? I did. Darn it. I don't know what I used. If I used the oxygen, yeah, I probably used the oxygen. Which means I'm gonna have to go get... Yeah, I don't... When I pass it, oh. Okay, I have enough oxygen there, but I'm all good. So I just wanted to have some extra oxygen on backup. And so life support gel offers a temporary boost. Don't need a temp boost. What was the other one? I don't see it. Oxygen capsule. I don't know where I get those from. I don't want to walk, so let's come over here. Oh, darn it. I didn't mark it. Probably nowhere near this underground area buried. Item. Wait, should I scan that? No, I already got it. I already got it. So I think that's where I was going to go to. I pretty much just flew the same distance away from it. Oh gosh, I don't, I don't know if I should go down there if I can even get back up. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. I've got a ton in my inventory. Oh, I wanted to build a signal booster. That's right, so I got the nanotubes, metal plating, sodium. I thought I saw sodium nearby, or... Or it was below. Oh, why does that have to be 200? Two hundred nine units. Screw it, let's park the ship down there then. I don't... I don't like how it wastes that much liftoff fuel from your launch thr thrusters just to take off. Like... 
that's it uses too much fuel. That's not, I don't know, realistic. I've landed. I've landed in worse landing sites before. Come on. Thank you, small ship. That could logically land in many places. Of course, right next to a death plant. Wow, I've already discovered that. Okay. So now that we're down here, let's see, where was the... Unknown building, that might not be a bad thing to check out. Was the buried treasure or whatever not down here? I gotta get the metal plating from the stupid ship. The only thing is if I create a signal booster... And I'm gonna have to carry it with me. Which I don't know if I wanna do yet. Why doesn't it tell me distance? I gotta be there then. Let's dig. Let's scan it. I don't know what the question marks are for. I scanned it. Salvage tech. Can't remember what that's used for if that was just worth it or not. There was something I hadn't scanned. I mean, I haven't been trying to scan everything. I just... It all just seems like the same stuff. Just different names, which... I mean... I give them credit though, because, I mean, they, they can't just, they can't make everything unique with the small team. It's, it's definitely, I mean, so far I'm enjoying the game. I love the space travel. I wish there was a better navigation system. As in, I don't know, I just feel like, like, I should be able to do a lot more autopiloting. I have to steer myself in some cases. I guess, I guess, every level of speed, you don't have, you have to steer much less, but anyways, I just, and there is some automation when, when doing the RBLB, the, the, not a warp jump, but a, like, the hyper speed travel, the pulse, the pulse engine using the pulse thruster engine, um, I guess there is automation to where it'll automatically go to the, the point that you're pretty much aiming at. So, I do like that. I just, I like the galaxy map. I just wish, and the galaxy map is kind of hard to choose where you want to go. So, I do wish, I mean, I like how you can only go to connected, to, to connected points, but I don't know. I just wish that, um... I wish it was a little easier to go where you wanted to go. So here's what I want to do, because I, I also- Oh darn it, I didn't mean to do that. I also wanted to put... So I want to put this in my actual starship. And then in the freighter I want to put some warp stuff, because it looks like you're supposed to be able to warp jump with your freighter, which kind of cool. Um, 
And I don't know if I should like be worrying on buying like upgrading my ship, buying a new ship, or if I should be getting more more stuff for my fleet. But the fleet's kind of cool. You know, I'd got an attack and I, I flew over to my fleet thinking my fleet would help me. They got defense guns. I could see the defense guns. And what happened? Nothing. They didn't help me. They didn't do nothing. I had to go inside and hide. And darn it, it's choosing all five instead of only the two from the stack I wanted. So I'm going to wait on that. But yeah, disappointed that my own fleet did not help me. But anyways, I wanted to, there was a building that I wanted to see, and I did, I did pin it, tag it, so I don't know why I can't see it, but, ugh. I want to know what's there, so now I'm about to waste landing fuel, 25% uh, of landing fuel. Yeah, it, it uses a whole quarter, I've got a quarter gone just to take off. So for every canister of landing fuel, you can take off four times. And to me, I don't like that, I wish they would take that out completely, add in another fueling element, if, if if they must, but I don't like that. I feel like if I got fuel in my pulse engine, it should use pulse engine fuel. And not very much. It should take more to get off in this space. Like, landing fuel is only used to take off. Nothing else, no other time. I don't know. I just think that is a waste. But anyways... There's a cargo drop right next to me that I think I'll grab. And as far as this building, I do not see it. Unless it's underneath me and I'm just not looking. Why did that distress beacon? I think that's where I was. Right? Yeah, so the distress beacon has to be the one I came from. Um, so, okay, let's go get this stupid cargo. Does the scanner show the building? Nope, I see no building. It's gotta be, I gotta be missing it out of view. Oh well. So where is this cargo, is it? Thought I saw something. Alright, what's damaged here? Nothing, just get the rust. Okay. And dehydrogen jelly. And need an atlas pass. Okay. Let's GTFO. See, did that? Now I should have half thrusters left. Yep. So, such a waste to me. I love taking off in the space. I wish though, I wish though that there was more gravity and you couldn't get into space without using boosters because it takes an enormous amount of space to leave a planet's gravity and get into space. To me, launch fuel would make more sense for with that. Oh, I got a message. So, yeah. I, I think that's the only thing that's 
not accurate in this game is you don't have to use boost to enter space. You can just aim your ship up, go at a very slow speed, and you'll enter space. So to me, I, that, it's just not realistic. I don't like that. Okay, this must be the distress beacon. Yeah. Artemis needs my help. I need to find a way to boost this signal. Okay. Look at a long distance transmitter. Scan for potential sites. Hollow terminus. that pulse engine and get there in minutes. So I guess this is pretty much automatic. For the most part. Which is good. Oh darn, I wanted to stop by my base and get the uh... Gosh, I should do that. I need to get... the signal booster. Because I want to have that. Could have used it. And I want to have it. So what the heck? And why is my damaged ship all the way over there instead of with the fleet? Is it traveling? Oh, I was going towards my base. How silly. Because if my... If, one, if my fleet ship is traveling itself, that's pretty cool. I like that. If I can see it traveling, like it makes stops or jumps, or if, or if I send it on missions and I could, I could go to the planets that it's supposed to be at and I see it there doing missions, even cooler is if it had little fleet ships, I guess, little, little uh, aircraft like mine, starships, that it sent out doing stuff, like sent those things to planets, and they actually just even pretended like they did stuff, role played. That would be cool. I'm sure there's actually a ton that this game doesn't have that they do want to have. Um, I know Hello Games is a small team. And I know they talk about their stuff that they do want to have, but, um, but they're a small team, so it does take a lot. I wonder, I wonder how the players feel who played this game when it first came out. I think it was a couple of years ago, 2016. It's been a long time. I wonder how they feel about the game now. Um, I know a lot of people were pretty, well, well Hello, Hello Games lied and said there was multiplayer, they said that you'd be able to see your friends, see other people when playing the game. You'd be able to see what they look like. And I remember day one launch, two streamers went and met each other at the same area. And lo and behold, they could not see each other. So that's when it came out that the dude who was saying there was multiple, one of the devs, one of the guys, was lying. Yeah, there was just a lot that they said was in the game that's not, that wasn't. So I'm just wondering how those people feel now. Um, to me, it's not a bad game. It's, you know, to me, it's worth it. 50 bucks, it's worth it. Take a drink. Let's try after talking for a minute. But okay, let's get over to the base. You know, it was stupid too, because I built my base right next to this structure. Oh, I've been wanting to blow the door. I 
built my base right next to this structure not thinking that it was gonna benefit me somehow did I get it? I gotta wait for the sentinels to yeah but I thought it was gonna benefit me somehow being next to the save point and all that not realizing that you could build your own save point and so yeah I'm kinda kind of started that off. I guess I guess all I'd have to do is just dismantle my stuff not even build another base oh I thought I got the door I didn't get the door but yeah I guess I could just easily build another base but oh well yeah but like right down there Looks like a good spot to build a base. So I might do that. Alright. Got that door. So there's there's a lot of carbon up here. If I were to build another base down there, like I think that I think that area down there looks good. <laughs> And is there plenty of carbon nearby? It looks like... Excuse me, it looks like there is. So, alright, I might... I might go ahead and build down there. Might not do it now, I'm gonna go to the mission first, but... At some point, I am gonna build down there. I also built a couple extra objects. I've got a communications device and then a mess messenger device. And it seems like they both do the same exact thing. I don't... One's huge, one's tiny, small. And I don't know what one's supposed to do over the other. See? This is the small one. It says welcome message module so you can enter a module for visitors so I've got welcome and then well what happened here cuz over here was my other big module and it is gone and these are like in the ground look at that what What's happening here? This almost seems lower to the ground like it was supposed to be up higher. Let's take a screenshot for support. I'll let them know that they got a bug there. But anyways, okay, well, I did build a big communications module that was right there. And I have no idea what it does. Well, I know what it does. I have no idea what the difference in, is between that one and the small tiny module. I was just seeing if I had any leftover carbon in there. Alright, so I busted down the door to this place. Let's see. Oh, restore shield, okay. Usually there's nanites in these places. So I'll get all items. Yeah, so here's nanites. Only ten. Specimen. Alright, I guess that's it for in here. Let's see what the terminal says. Oh. It's going to use full product form. The system is crashing. An error message appears long time. Uh, an error message appears long time account down timer. So save data or wait. Uh, 
guess save it if you're waiting. Uh, to me, if I waited, that would be bad. Okay, yeah, so that was the right move, I guess. Sweet. So this is a new product formula, I guess. I guess to get new items to build. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So there are more items than just this. I just have to unlock them. Um, okay. All right. Oh yeah, and before I start building, gosh, I have no inventory space. I wonder, is it possible to build a galactic trading unit? No, I don't see. I was hoping maybe that, like the big communication station, I was kind of hoping that was going to be... Uh, galactic trade, but it wasn't. So look at this, it's wanting to build low to the ground instead of above ground. Or is that... Okay, maybe not. No, I just, it just looked like it was small. This is another stupid thing I did. Here's the base terminal called Stargate Command. Oh, because I'm, I'm a dork, I'm a nerd. Stargate, love Stargates. Awesome. Wish it was going on today, it would look so good. But anyways, um... Oh, I accidentally teleported to my base and didn't realize I was wondering what happened. So yeah, when you upload it, it gives you the ability to then teleport to it. So yeah, I need, I would need lots of carbon to build another base. And if I were to want a base computer, chromatic metal. So that's easy. Farming. I mean, floor containment. What does that contain? And a hazmat protection unit. Just refills your shields, I guess. Not something that helps me when I'm out. And I don't imagine losing shields when I'm home or at base. So yeah, I don't know what that's about. But alright, let's pick that up. You see that? I picked something up and it switched it. it switched my tool from mine mode to create mode when I picked it up. So that's, that's a bug. Alright, well let's... I want to do the mission, but... I have no space. <laughs> like, at all. And the nip-nip buds... I was gonna sell them, but it says you can produce gek nip. And I built one of those farming, I built one of those farm, whatever. I built one of these. Oh my god. No. I built one of these floor containments on my ship, my, my freighter. But I can't interact with it. I thought that I was going to be able to plant that flora, uh, that get nip bit, whatever it is. But no, I wasn't able to interact with it. So I don't know what you're supposed to be able to do. 
Is that a floating rock? Okay. It's a floating rock, okay. Alright, so let's get to the space station and so... There is... A trading base... On some of these planets, so I can... I can never find them. I found one once when I did a planet scan. It's a trading base nearby, or trading platform nearby, whatever it says. But, um... But I can't... Uh, it's obviously not finding them now when I do a scan. So I don't know if I have to be... Well, I, I, I'm assuming, yeah, I have to be on the planet that I want to find a base. I have to... I have to scan the planet that actually has a base. I thought there was a trading post on the, Yeah, there there was a trading post where my base is at. That's why I built my base. It's where I first started the game. And there was a trading platform. So, yeah, I can't find it anymore because I've looked before this. And, yeah, I don't, I don't understand what's up with that. So, I've got to figure out how to find trading platforms better. But I do love that you have to space travel like this and it takes, you know, a minute. I don't like that warping is super quick. I do, I wish that warping, it could be a little quicker than this because you are going at warp speed, but I do wish it looked like a cool warp speed and it just took minute. You can see the planets going by faster. So I need, yeah, I just think that would just, just make everything look better. The way everything works. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, idiot. Yeah, I've hit stuff before and realized that it didn't do much to me at all. So I guess I guess you can bust your ship up and not worry about it too much. So there's some recruitable ships. I wonder. I don't know what the purple one is. Oh, I think that might have a commander that you can talk to. Okay, let's see how much it cost. Four million. Decline that. Um, I don't know if I feel like going on a forget. See you one day. Maybe I should. But I guess before I, before I buy another frigate to join my fleet, I probably should upgrade my sh my ship. Okay, so that's cheaper, but still, I don't have a million credits. Ship. Oh, don't leave, don't leave. Let me check you out. Roger, 
That looks like a cool starship. And I don't know if selling these light forms gets you more or the same amount as if you were to do galactic. So I need to like compare the price to an item. If I remember doing that, I'll do it. Darn it, it's 17 million. Oh, that's that's a cool ship. I want it. Class A. Oh man, that would be cool to have. And see, this right here is what I guess com converts all your components to parts. I got a phase beam. Cadmium drive. But man, that's just a tease. Fine. All right, let's see what something sells for. So, something expensive like all right, like salvage tech. So fourteen thousand hundred and forty nine thousand, four hundred forty eight, hundred and forty nine thousand, okay. I mean and on the flip side, I also wonder if buying stuff is cheaper. I could just buy Starship Launch Fuel with 50k. No, I don't want to do that. But anyways, alright, so Starship Launch Fuel is 50k, and selling the tech is 150k. So I'll just remember that. Remember that. 150 50. 150-50. That's how I'll remember it. Okay. Attain Nomad status. Okay. Every 40 kilometers. I mean, they give me one like every 10 kilometers. I don't need one for every 10 kilometers. It's not really an achievement. You got to walk, so you're you're gonna rack up kilometers. So I guess every frigate you can pretty much buy. Wow, the, the new frigate looks pretty darn cool. They both have 15 slots. I don't see what the upgrade is. They don't seem to have any... stats. I mean, it looks like this one has more slots over here, but it just, I think it just looks like that because of the way they're placed, so, okay, well, can't buy it anyways, so we will decline that, and GTFO. Oh, I guess we could look and see what missions they got, or not. Okay, so I actually already have gotten a mission from them. So I've already, yeah, I do remember that ship. I just thought it was coincidence looking the same, but okay. And I, I did try raiding the Planetary Harvester once. And I got attacked by whatever was defending it. This is when I was still kind of new. Which was yesterday, <laughs> I've only been playing for two days. But, um, anyways, they killed me, and I lost all my stuff. Now, it did tell me where my grave was as soon as I came back. Great. I immediately 
hyperdrived it, pulse engined it to my grave, and it disappeared on the way. So when I got there, I stopped the ship, looked around, and my grave was gone. My eyes were gone, gone. And so I thought that was it. So I pretty much stopped playing for the night, went to bed. But when I logged on earlier today, I pretty much saw that I had all of my stuff, all of my items. And I, and I had good stuff on me that I really did not want to take the time to get back. Um, but yeah, it was all there. So, I really don't know what happened there. What the hell is going on there? I'm going backwards. Okay, I'm hitting the gas to go backwards. Why is it not going backwards? happening there. This is weird. Like it, it goes fast and it slows to nothing and then speeds up. I'm holding the trigger to go backwards. So I don't know what's up with that. But anyways, I lost all my stuff, had all my stuff. Look at me. I'm confused. So yeah, now it's going backwards. But now it's dropping. I don't know what the deal is with that. All I was trying to do was look at the friggin' fuel cells. Or whatever cells they had. Cargo pod. Yeah, see? A bunch of gold. Because there was a mission to attack a friggin' cargo pod. I did. But I also got chased. That's when I flew back to my freighter for help, thinking that they would help me, and they did not. But, yeah, so that cargo pod has gold. Yeah, the fence turrets, which I have on my ship. Uh, it looks like our pointless. Alright, so let's go to the space station. Clear out supplies. Get back to the galaxy. Like a glove, almost. Anybody my age is around here looking for Ace Ventura. Jim Carrey at his prime. But yeah, Ace Ventura, those were, those were great. Like a glove, huh? I can't even do it. <laughs> but yeah, those were his classics. Alright, so let's see. Galactic trading po Galactic trading post is on the other side. But yeah, look. So I redeemed my items. I showed it at the beginning of the thing. And where where is Xbox stuff? You can go through every helmet type. Like what what is supposed to be the Xbox? If I have it somehow, but I'm just not understanding, is that supposed to be it? Is that it? Is that, I mean, maybe I can kind of tell now where, where it seems like it has an X, I think, but is that all it is? Just a helmet? Because it says exosuit. Is what you get pre-order, and even, and I, I thought it was gonna have some benefit. This doesn't seem to have. 
I haven't checked it out further, but I don't know what kind of benefit it. It looks ugly. Like I don't even know what they're doing with that, but it looks ugly. The other ones definitely look cooler. I don't know what to go with there, but... Alright, well I'm not gonna make everybody go through looking through this, but let me just, uh... Just get going. Just something that looks alright here. I mean, that's the only cool looking thing. Takes a minute to load. So, half black, half colored, or full color. Tertiary color, who uses that? Looks alright, I guess. This look like mechanic gloves. What is that? A glove from freaking Avengers? <laughs> the Infinity Glove? This kind of look cool. Let's just go with that. Markings. Okay. Oh, so this has. Okay. I don't know, the yellow and red looks good, I guess. I wish there was somebody in here that could, like, help me. I'm not very good at colors, but. Who could help me decide if these looked good or not? some Spartan era thing in here. I mean, they look kind of cool. Where does this... How do you change the blue inside? Because... Oh, what color was that? Yeah, I don't know how you change the blue legs on the inside there. My guy's gonna look ugly, I already know. I mean, those kind of look cool. They look like freaking sandals, space sandals. I don't know, let me see something here. So maybe it's like a, th a theme. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. Yeah, it looks like Spartan gear. 
Oh my god, that looks so ugly. Oh my god. Wow. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, it looks so ugly. Just see what three looks like. I don't know what's going on with white. White. I don't know what's going on with the colors. Dirtier color applies there because I didn't see anything change. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. No, that looks ugly. Oh, it looks like it's up there by his knee. I thought I saw something change, guess not. Never mind, okay, whatever. Oh yeah, legs. Can't figure out what's up with the legs. I like that style though. I just want to see what white looks like. I mean, I think I like markings, I don't know. So the primary color... Okay. understand why the inside of the legs are teal. I did not see a color to change that. Can't even change. That's weird. You can't change the inside color? Maybe that? Okay. I don't really like the teal, but it matches. Oh, you know what I think I'm not understanding is if I turn on markings, then I should be able to... Whoops. Yeah, adjust the color. So... Blue or red? I mean, my favorite color has always been blue. Why not go teal? That's teal. And this is that beautiful looking blue color. That was weird, I did not press a button. White selected it? Yeah, I guess so. Alright, so let's just get back to gloves. Let's try out the blue. Leave those yellow. Maybe it looks like it's glowing. Blue. That's white. Okay. And then the 
ugly ass head. So we want white for primary. And let's get it done with the blue. Whoa. Guess that was not supposed to happen. just look okay. Minor differences. That looks like the first one. Alright, let's just go with that. Okay, and then backpack, because the backpack's still yellow. So primary color, we want white. Look at that, it's loading so it goes to black. What is up? That does a cool black, or I'm sorry, that does a cool, uh, white. Gosh, it takes so long. The black looks cool too. It's hard to tell what the, what difference the markings do because it takes so long to load. So what's changing black? Okay, those two dots up there are changing. And then let's see what the secondary color is as soon as it readies. change there. Uh, is it those colors? The gloop thing and... Yeah, I guess so. Okay, alright. And the black does look kind of cool. Ew, I hate that leather looking stuff on the back though. There's still some black on there, but okay, whatever. Let's just get through this. What does the second one look like? Oh, I can have a better camera view. Not even that much better, well. I think I probably will go with the second one. Come on. Yeah, that looks alright. So, okay. I think I pretty much got everything. Yeah. I don't lie, I almost thought it was gonna mess up there. I would have been pissed. Yeah, the suit is kinda ugly. Um. Oh, yeah, I haven't. I don't think I've learned enough their language. And I guess you can only use these upgrade things once? I need to travel more. I've only been to two systems. Yeah, because that's where I bought the upgraded multi-tool, and it is gone. Alright, so Galactic Terminal.
every time I get done like working on something and then go back like after I've been on on a like trade ship for a while or a freighter for a while and I go to uh, get on my ship there are no other ships around me or, or that have docked it's empty I don't know if like they just stop rendering ships coming in and landing after a while or what but Anyways, okay, so there's two things I wanted to know. One of them was the tech. There it was, salvage tech. So it's a little more. Okay, alright. Alright. Definitely want to get rid of that. Magno gold, okay. What are these? Cause I don't, I don't, I've not, I don't know where those are. I, I don't see those in my inventory anywhere. Magno gold, iridocyte, salt refractor. I don't, dioxide. I have no idea where those things are. Um, no idea what that would be for, so definitely selling that. Gosh, it's almost like I got nothing to sell, but I got no space to keep anything. 30,000 for chromatic metal. I guess I can make more, so... I got more copper, so yeah, alright, sell it, take the 30k, so let's see, what's in the starship, so get rid of this pungent stuff, okay, 21k, that's better, and get rid of the effigy, and lemium, craft it from pure fair and uranium, I guess I can make more of it at some point, but, yeah, just get rid of it. I don't have room. Uranium, I do want to keep uranium. I don't see anything else to get rid of. So the tech module is 62k. Okay, so this was the stuff that was grayed out. I don't know what's up with that. 476,000 for a semiconductor, wow. Oh yeah, I was looking to buy something. Oh, I'm trying to remember what exactly it was, but I don't see it here. It's not sparking my memory. Gosh, I didn't so much. I suppose... I suppose I could sell everything. Get it again, but ugh. Well, let me see, because I wanted to. Oh, yeah. So, two tech modules Hermetic Seal. I do want to install that first. So, two of these, man. Trying to get a new ship, and that's gonna talk, cost me 125k. Alright, fine. Let's go make the 
automatic seal. Okay. And yeah, should be able to install. There's no tech slot, right? Okay, good. Alright, so this is definitely how you get the advanced, I see that stat, advanced mining laser enable, yes! Now I got advanced mining. Cool. Alright, and what was the other thing I wanted to, yeah, the economy scanner. So I need another tech module and one more microprocessor, because I believe I only have four. Oh, I've only got three. I thought I had four. Yeah, I guess only three. So I need two of those. Um, I wanted to try something before I forgot. That used all my warp cells. It used four of them. No, it used one of them. One of them filled up. This ship's warp drive 100%? That does not make sense. All four are gone, so that does not make sense. I don't know what that means. Oh, I'm still pissed about this. I could just get rid of it, but it's only got a 1% heat dispersion. It's not really... doesn't sound like much. Okay, whatever, I guess... Man, I just don't have room did I have ion batteries somewhere alright so value that's only 70 units and this is I've seen solar vine around let's sell that Darn, I can't transfer. Even though I can transfer to, I can't transfer from. Alright. I don't know if I should be keeping the defense chit or not. Oh wait, yeah, it says entitling the bearer to support from the system authorities in dealing with pirate attacks. So I don't know if if I if I have this if I need to have this on me. If they protect me. I'll have to look that up. Well, I think I have enough space to do the mission. I could get rid of two spaces if I did not carry a refinery or a signal booster. Life support gel. I can use that just to get rid of it. I can even sell them just to get rid of it. So, okay, alright. And then the Bluetooth. Okay. Bluetooth, I just said Bluetooth. <laughs> Blueprint analyzer, oh my god. Is that my home base? Just out of curiosity, let me. Oh, I can't pull up my building. 
menu. Okay, I just wanted to see what a uh, what the cost was to build. Oh, what was I looking at? Oh, it's gonna. I have to think about it now. It's gonna take me a minute. Yeah, see, no ships. ships coming in but wait is that my freighter capital ship yeah and then why is my damaged ship just sitting there so yeah there are some things that I'm just Used about why is it sitting over there and then should I go repair it because if I go repair it what is it gonna do for me nothing so let them sit there and if they can't help themselves then they don't deserve to go they deserve to sit there and practice survival So we'll go Alexa is talking to me. Hell nice Alexa. I just got that Nest thermostat and an Alexa spot and then the Philips Hue lights. Cool stuff control with the apps and with your voice and it's just cool stuff. Alexa, turn kitchen lights on. Yeah, cool. Alexa, turn kitchen lights to 15%. It's like the chill glow. Nothing major. Nothing crazy. Just a nice little chill glow. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't played with yet. With those, you can make scenes and set up rooms and have it do stuff on a schedule. And, but it looks like you've got the Apple HomeKit Home app, you've got the Philips Hue app, and then you've got the Alexa app, and they've all got their own setups, scenes that you can create, widgets, and this and that. It's like. I just want to use which ones work like which ones should I be using I don't I don't know there's just there's too many and they all do the same thing and then then I forget which ones were named this way and blah 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 it's just I don't know yeah So let's, let's see what's going on here and then we'll take a break. Chart out the sector. I guess I've scammed those animals. Yeah, I've been here. I do want to go to another galaxy though, because I do need to be more social and expand my my social grab, my social um, what sort of alert? My oh no, I'm paying attention. I need to expand my social circle. That's the word I was looking for.
Oh my god, I did it again. You know, the game is running a little choppy currently, and I... This happened to me the other day where it got worse than this. And I let it go for like 10 minutes and it did not go back to the way it was, so... I had to restart the game, but... It, it is a little sluggish. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it! Oh my gosh, I'm j I don't know what is happening right now. The game is a little sluggish, but I cannot blame that on the game. That is all me. What is happening? <laughs> oh, I think I need to take... Oh my gosh, it is definitely break time. Alright, I gotta say, that was a mix of both me and the game, because I was hitting the ladder. The ladder should have picked me up. I, I just walked through it. Y'all y'all saw that, right? Yeah. I, that's blowing my mind. I've gone one up I've gone up one of these before and it was not that difficult. This one is this is like the the ninja warrior of No Man's Sky Towers. Charge it? Okay. That's why I do like having resources on me. Because if I would have had to go down there and got sodium and come back up that would have just taken a minute definitely had taken a minute oh Artemis hello there it's good to see that technology has advanced quite well in the holographic realm as in, better than Star Wars, which are little blue see-through images. That's one dumb thing about Star Wars, is that so high-tech, so far in the future, but the holograms are dumb. They could do insanely better in that technology era. They, they could just, that's just crazy to me. But... Let's ask him what he means. Okay, so who are they? I know what a traveler is. Okay, no idea what he's talking about. Okay. I do. Wonder what happens if you decline. Build signal loops across this system. We should be able to triangulate your position. I'll finally get out of this hellhole and you'll get all the answers you seek. Sound like a deal? Okay, sounds like a deal. Let's save the life of Artemis. So it looks like I'll get a beacon out of my inventory.
I must say that was a beautiful controlled jump. Controlled fall. Input data. That's a new one. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go to another planet. Or another site on this planet. Sometimes takeoffs can be a little scary, like what you just saw. I think the site is on another planet. Oh wait, did I want something at my base? Oh yeah, let me just... Is that on my base? Or is that on this planet? Looks like it. Yeah, the um... Blueprints. I kind of want to get those out of my inventory. You know, this kind of reminds me of uh, Elite Dangerous. I've always thought that was a stupid name. Elite Dangerous. Cause it, it's elite colon dangerous. What does that mean? I'm elite and dangerous? I just, I've always hated the name. This is stupid to me, but it reminds me, they, they definitely have an amazing ship simulation travel. And um, it reminds me of that, which if they had, if this was a little more like that, that'd be super sick. And I wish Elite Dangerous had more of this game. Much more of this game. But... I guess you can't have... Perfect everything all at once. But yeah, here's save. I don't really know what... Like a teleport module so you can teleport to... I guess that would be a good thing to have. But I don't really know what else to get. Because... A wooden doorway. Does the current doorway mean that... Like, I always thought that was a force field you walk through that say that blocked from the outside elements, so... Is that open to everybody? Oh, here's a locked crate. Just a beautiful... Just a decoration. I don't understand why I can't have a storage crate. So yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go with this foundation, because I don't know why I need it, because you can build on the floor, but this specifically says the base for all construction projects, so, and it cleared my inventory of those blueprints pieces, so good. I guess it's considered a structure. But where can you build it? Oh yeah, okay. I almost want to go down there and just start placing it. I wonder what happens if you place more than one. How much? Lot. Okay. Okay. Let's go down there. Yeah, so is this... It looks like a force field. Not just... A lit up doorway. But... I wonder if anything can get inside. And see, this is still not good where... The train is coming through.
So they got some work to do, man. I don't know. They've been developing this game for quite some time now. So to me, something like that shouldn't be happening. I guess I better check my pulse, my takeoff juice. So I still got one, but plenty of uranium. Pulse engines. I do have plenty of tritium as well. So, okay. You know what? I, I kind of like over here because it's got got some fog. It look kind of cool. Like you wake up with the morning dew in this valley. I kind of like it. But then again, it's small and closed off. I think originally I was looking somewhere over here. So let me go back to where I was. Yeah, so. Right over in here. Yeah, I think that's a good spot because it's like one raised area in a big valley. And. It could be like, like a. a spot. A space base in the middle of of this valley. Let's do a scan just to see if there's any cool stuff around. Not really. Jettison pod. Oh my gosh. I thought that was the jettison pod. Can I shoot that thing? Good. Oxygen. Wow, I can mine that thing for oxygen. Let's go to the Genesis pod. Big rock of dihydrogen. hydrogen. I'm over here trying to lessen my inventory, but I want this. Because I am going to have to make more of... Is it launch fuel? Yeah, the launch fuel is... Look at the wrong thing. Launch fuel, I believe. Yeah, it takes dihydrogen. Um, and it needs metal plating also, which I have one of those, so I can only make one. And the metal plating takes the dust, which I don't know how much dust I have, because my screen is blocked. Okay, 193, so I have plenty of dust. And how much was the plate? Oh, I can't see how much the plate... Okay, yeah, yeah, there we go, 50. So... I'm gonna make two of those right now. Cool, okay. One more. Okay. Darn it, I shouldn't have made that one more because I don't have the, enough dihydrogen. So. 
So I'll get some on the way back. Was that the jettison pod? There wasn't really much. Guess so. How's my carbon? 106 condensed and no regular carbon, so... We'll definitely need some carbon here shortly. Let's decide on where to put the base. Yeah, I got sidetracked there. I saw the dihydrogen, which, whoops, which I will need. See? Unlimited multi-tool. Just let go and press it. Doesn't even have to, the bar doesn't have to go all the way down. It just resets. The bar's going down. Doesn't matter, you press the button. It's as if it's already down, brand new. So, as I mentioned, I pointed that earlier, that to me is a bug. A stupid bug that should have been seen since they launched the game. I don't know if that's been let go on purpose or, or if it, uh, to me, there's no reason the bar should be going down at all if it's going to reset. Got the scan. I think over here is where it looks the most flat, and it looks like it's higher, the highest point of the hill. So let's just put a plate down. Why? What's going on here? What the heck? Can I not build? Oh, I have to build a base computer first? I sold all my chromatic metal, of course. Of course. I think I am going to take a break. I'll finish this stuff later. But if anybody watches this entire video, appreciate you watching. Um, so leave a comment. We'll play. And I'll record us playing. You can record us playing. It'll be fun. It'll be cool. Um, but all right, y'all. Enjoy the game if you end up getting it. I like it. Might as well get it. Uh, take care.